YouTube. Today I have my HP 210 1079NR Mini. And right now, my fan does not work. Over here. Yeah, whatever. And I've upgraded 2 gigs of RAM, just to let you know. So, I can't get into the OS if my fan's dead. So, you know. Um, but... I've gotten to the OS a couple of times. I have Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit in here. And I was able to get into the OS a couple of times. I can this video is gonna show you how to get into OS and update the BIOS. BIOS, whatever you want to call it. I've updated the BIOS, BIOS, whatever, um, just a few minutes ago, about five or ten minutes ago. And so my fan is still not working, so I've ordered a fan off of Amazon. And this video is for you if this message shows up on your startup. Hold on, my computer's starting up. The system BIOS, BIOS, whatever you want to call it, again, sorry, has detected a possible issue with the cooling fan. The cooling fan is an important part of the note, blah, 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 whatever. Cooling fan 902, and the only option is to enter shutdown. Or enter is shutdown. So yeah, so I'm going to show you how to get into the OS and update your BIOS from there. So, first things first is what you're going to do. Close your laptop lid. This may not work, it might be a... It's going to take a long time for me because you don't know when it's going to turn on and when it's not going to turn on. So, this is what you're going to do. Turn the power on, or press the power button, pull it, in this case my laptop, pull it. To turn on and then turn it off immediately. Then turn it on and then turn it off. You're gonna wait for about a few minutes and then your OS or when it shows the HP logo, that's when you're in luck. That that means you're gonna boot up to your OS. So as you can see, um Unlike all laptops, I have upgraded to 2 gigs of RAM, and my computer is still pretty slow. Well, the thing is, I took out this piece of RAM off my desktop, my Sony Vio desktop, and, yeah. I just want to make my computer faster, because my desktop was dead, so I decided, hmm, I guess I could take some parts out and put some new parts in to my laptop. So, that's what I did. Alright, so... Let's get started. Now, at this time, you're probably still going to get the 902 error code. Depends. Yeah, as so you can see, I've got the 902 again. Uh, remember, uh, I said, uh, you don't know what, I don't know when it's going to start up or when it does, but it just starts up randomly. So, it takes a while. Now I'm just going to wait another few minutes. Yeah, here's my desktop over here that I took out the RAM with. It had four gigs of RAM, so I took it was dead. The motherboard's dead. I'm not gonna order a whole new set of, of motherboard until I get back to the states. So I just took out a gig, uh, two gigs of RAM and put it in my laptop and put the one gig of RAM in here. So yeah, just replaced it. And I just hope everything will be well. All right, so let's start this back up. As known again, he's stuck at the BIOS error. Yeah, this might take about eight minutes or so, but if you need to, skip all the way to the end. If you want. But, yeah. This might take a while, just to let you know. So don't expect it to be like one minute, oh, it's snapped, there you go, you're booted in. Some people, in the, their case, yes, it will just take one time. It's depending on your laptop. My laptop just takes some time to trick. Well, you have to, like, trick your laptop or something like that. Let's boot. All right. There we go. HP logo right there. Boom. And as you can see, Microsoft Corporation... I don't know why it doesn't show the orb since I have Windows 7 64 bit. Ultimate. Ultimate, yeah. Alright, so. 
There's the mouse pointer. So the thing is, when you're using this, it says your laptop your laptop can really overheat and stuff. So I advise you to put a fan or a laptop cooler underneath it, like what I have done over here. You know what? Let me hook it up to my TV. Hold on. Um. All right. Hold on. Sorry, it's gonna. There we go. TV should be turning on. All right. There we go. Again, as I was saying before, I advise you to put a fan or a laptop cooler underneath there, and. Um, if you're gonna keep this laptop for like school or something and you don't want this error message to show up, I would tell you to keep it in sleep mode. Always. Keep it in sleep mode. Because if you shut it down again and start it back up, you're gonna get that error again. So again, I advise you. So I'm gonna use my fan. Since my laptop cooler broke, I have to use a fan. Oh, come on. Well, you get the point. So, yeah. Everything will not be as fast as usual. Things will be a bit slow. And I have upgraded my BIOS, BIOS just a few minutes ago, about 20 minutes ago. My fan's still not working, so again, I'm just gonna download this off. I'm just gonna buy enough of Amazon. So, anyway, I hope this helped your problem. Well, it worked for me, but I don't know. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, dislike, comment. Yeah. Leave a comment in the section below if you've got this working. If not, that's on your luck. Goodbye.